This recipe resonates with me so much. It reminds me of my childhood. My grandmother used to cook it for me. Mum still cooks it for me. It's called a blanquette de veau. This is a shoulder of veal. You know it's veal because of its pale colour. And blanquette in French means blanket. Also, blanc is white, so it's a white type of stew, meaning we're not going to brown it at all. Now, usually when you cook this, it takes an hour and a half, two hours to really soften the meat and cook it slowly in a broth. However, I'm going to do it in 40 minutes in the cook for me. So one kilo of veal shoulder, we'll pop it into the cook for me. And then we're going to add some classics with this, which is the holy trinity of celery, onion and some carrot. In the onion, I like to place some cloves, so two whole cloves. And the reason we pierce this is to ensure that they don't get lost in the broth at the end. That can go in whole, along with the two carrots that I'll cut into large chunks of about three to four centimetres along with two celery stalks. I'll remove the tops. We can use that for a soup or stock another time. And then we'll cut this again into large battens. Now in with a garlic clove and some leek that I've just tied so it just doesn't fall apart too much when it's cooking. And some hard herbs, a few sprigs of thyme and a few bay leaves, fresh bay leaves if you can find it. If not, dry is completely fine. Now a generous handful of sea salt flakes and then some water. So I've got about 1.5 litres here. You just want enough to completely cover the vegetables and the meat. Great. And that's it, stage one done. We're going to let the cook for me do all the work. We'll just lock that and we'll set that to pressure cook for 40 minutes. We'll set the timer so it can stop automatically. Done. Now, after that's cooked, there's gonna be a lovely broth. So I'm going to use some of that broth to make a very simple rice. Okay, this veal has been cooking for 40 minutes. It's ready, so let's have a look at it. Oh, that smell reminds me of walking into my mum's house every single time. I love the smell of the cloves. And now have a look at this broth, liquid gold. So we're not going to waste that. We're going to use it to make our rice and to make that famous white sauce. So I'll just close that lid. And then in this pot, I've been just sauteing off some onion. Once that's softened, we're going to add some rice. This is just some long grain rice. And then I'll coat the rice in the onion mix, just so each strand has a little oil and onion on it. Fabulous. And I'll add a sprig of thyme. And now we want to completely cover this rice in this stock. So we'll just add that in gradually. So you don't need to mix it. We'll just add a small pinch of salt. And now this is going to come up to the boil. Then I'll put the lid on and just allow that to slowly cook. It'll just seep up all the delicious stock. Now, while that's cooking, we can get onto the sauce. So in another pan, I'm going to add some butter and just a small knob of butter. We're going to make this as if it was a white sauce. So we need to make a roux, which is even amounts of butter and flour. I'm going to toast that off for about two to three minutes and then gradually add some of this delicious stock. So this has come to the boil. Let's turn that down. The lid can go on. And now the butter is melted, so let's add that flour. That's going to thicken our sauce too. And mix that in. And you really don't want to add that stock immediately. Cook this off for 30 seconds so it forms a ball. And then now we'll bring that pot closer. So little by little, we'll add some stock. Give it a stir until it's really thick and glossy. In that time, we'll finish cooking off this rice. It's going to take about 20 minutes. All right, the rice is cooked. For the sauce, I like to add one egg yolk. It makes it glossy, so in it goes. It is off the heat now, so it won't scramble. And then we want to mix that in quite quickly. Break it up and you'll see it go a beautiful yellow colour. Just to freshen it up, I also like to add a small amount of lemon juice. Perfect. We'll stir that in 
and that sauce is done. Now we can plate this up. So we'll start with the rice. Look at the rice. How glorious does that look? It's completely absorbed all of the stock. And to serve this, a generous amount of rice on one side of the plate. All right, let's take some of the meat and the veggies out. Look how soft it is after cooking for 40 minutes. Just using the tip of my tongs, you can see it falls away. It's moist, it's tender. I just love it. All right, we'll place that on the other side of the plate. And I like to add some of the veggies, particularly those carrots because they're so sweet. And then for the sauce, just give that a final mix and just pour that over the top, like so. Oh, you can see why it gets the name Blanquette de Vaux from that pale white colour. It's a really delicate dish, it's comfort food. It's the ultimate French classic comfort food. That certainly reminds me of home every time I cook it.